Black holes have been portrayed as cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything in sight. But the fact is, they are not really sucking anything. They are like any other object in space, although with a very strong gravitational field. Instead, objects fall into them just as they fall toward anything that exerts gravity, like the Earth. Although black holes devour anything that gets too close, these cosmic behemoths have a nurturing side too. Stars generally form where gas and dust build up, creating what is known as a stellar nursery. Active supermassive black holes occasionally unloose enough material from which new stars may form. A black hole's extreme gravitational pull would increasingly slow down time and warp space around it. As objects reach the event horizon, they move close to the speed of light due to the strong gravitational force from the black hole. And the faster you move, the slower time passes for you. Einstein didn't discover black holes even though his theory of relativity did predict their formation. It was Carl Schwarzschild who was the first to use Einstein's equations and show that black holes could indeed form. By using the general equations, he demonstrated that bodies of sufficient mass would have an escape velocity exceeding the speed of light and therefore would not be directly observable. But long before this, British polymath John Mitchell predicted the existence of dark stars so massive or so compressed that they could possess gravitational pulls so strong not even light could escape. However, black holes didn't get their universal name until 1967. Professor Stephen Hawking discovered that black holes evaporate over vast periods of time. The phenomenon is called Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation disperses a black hole's mass into space and will continue to do this until there is nothing left.